Hello and welcome again to today's lecture about protection in electrical power systems. And today I would like to talk to you about overcurrent protection and here especially about the backup protection. And let's see how it works. I recommend, by the way, before you continue, that you should have seen the video about overcurrent protection, selectivity and fault location. So in this previous chapter, we saw that when there is a fault at the end of this line, indicated by this red flash, that the current goes through all protection relays. All these relays will pick up, as is indicated in yellows, but now something will not work out properly. Namely, that the relay that is associated to this fault, which is the last one, does not react at all. So, what happens? Somehow it does not work and it will not trip after 0.4 seconds, as it was indicated. So then the time goes on and on and a short time later, at 0.8 seconds, the next upstream relay will pick up and clear that fault. So now for the operation people in the control room, they get this impression. Pick up, pick up, trip and now the question is, what could this be? Let's compare this. This is a trip that has worked out properly. So we have a fault at the end of the line. The next relay picks up, trips out. That's okay. But now we have a main protection failure, as indicated by this crossed arrows. Either we have a trip error, that means that the relay will pick up, but not effectuate a circuit breaker trip, or maybe it will not pick up at all, for example, due to shorted current terminals or failure of operation or whatever it may be. So now let's see, in case one, that the relay will pick up but not trip that circuit breaker, we have an indication like pick up, pick up, trip, pick up. So here we have the fault passage like go, go, go. Go. So then we know that the fault has gone through the last relay, so the fault point must be behind the last relay, but the next upstream relay has tripped out for whatever reason. Namely, in this case, a circuit breaker failure or tripping failure. The next may be case two, that the relay does not react at all, that there is no indication, no pickup, no nothing. So in this case, we have a indication for the control room like pick up, pick up, trip and nothing. So from this it will be concluded by the operation people that the fault must be upstream of the last relay and that the fault mm, should be in a section where it is not, which is a wrong conclusion but which is correct by mean of the indication. So and this may unfortunately result later in operation of the network in trying to fix that fault in close on fault operations. So that means the fault point will be energized two times. So this was today's lecture about overcurrent protection, especially backup protection and protection failure. And I thank you for your attention.